one more win, one more win and you in Dayton. Just talk about, you know, this was a win right here where, I mean, Coach T, we gotta be real. You know, you know me, we gonna always keep it on. You wanted this one. You know, we talked about how that first game, Sanaya wasn't hurt, wasn't 100%. Today she was a hundred percent, and we're gonna keep it. She she gave she gave it her all today. But we always talk about Sanaya. One person who I, I know we got to give shine to is Nyla. And I feel like Nyla as a freshman, she stepped up into the moment. You know, just talk about. We can start there. Just talk about you know what she did, what she meant for today's win. I mean, Nyla was huge for us. She handled the pressure very very well. You know, we worked on traps all week in practice, and she applied it. I mean, she stepped through the trap, probably one of the cleanest I've seen in a long time. She handled the pressure well, made free throws when we needed it, hit big shots when we needed it. I mean, she hit one that they called off for a charge, and I was like, damn. But she she still kept finding ways to keep going and, and give us what she needed. And this game meant a lot to her. You know, she used to go to Gilmore Middle School, so she wanted her get back. And when we won that game at West Branch, that's what she said. This is my time. This is my get back. And she showed it. Man, you know, start, you guys started this game kind of similar to we started the West Branch game where, you know, you, you attacked the boards early, got in transition early, and once the three started popping, you know, it was kind of lights out after that, you know. Is that typically how you want the ladies to start, or is, or do you want to see them more running more of the sets that you're setting up, or, you know, what, what type of style are we are we so trying to see in the offense? In we the, always preach to the kids, kill, kill, kill. A bucket is a bucket. Obviously, do I want you to run the set? Yes. But we're also preaching to our kids to not be robots. If I sit there and tell them, hey, I want you to run this play all the way through, they'll do that and then they'll never look for anything else. So I think we're finally getting to a position where kids can make reads and we're reading and reacting as opposed to, all right, we're going to run this play through and then if we don't have anything, then we'll pull it back out. Like, I'm not the traditional type of coach. I let kids play. I let kids build confidence and I let them be who they are. Two more questions for you. We out of here. You switched the lineup on me again today. Out was uh, out was Sia. You entered uh, Jordan today. You know, it was Chloe. Chloe, sorry, Chloe Johnson, sorry. Was was that more of a matchup to where you knew Sanaya could handle Holly, and they had more guards? They had they ran like a kind of a four four out five in. I mean, four out one in set. Like what what went into you know uh, Chloe out being out there in the, in the middle today? Chloe is a monster for us, um, and a lot of people don't remember, but Chloe started last year on a star-studded team for us with Mari Bickley, Margaret Jones, Tristan Williams, and Sonia Hall. So she's not new to the starting lineup. Um, she just brings a lot of different intangible things from the rebounding, from the defense. I mean, she can match up with Helen or we could put her on number one, and we knew that. So we just wanted different scenarios to be able to have. Um, different comfortability if Sanaya needed to be able to switch off, which at certain times we did. So, I mean, Chloe's a kid who's really just scratching the surface. I mean, she, between you and me, she's supposed to get 6'2 this summer. Her brother's 16. They're late bloomers. So, I mean, when Chloe grows into what she's supposed to grow into, I mean, she already snagged. Yeah, she already sn She's a beast on the offensive rebounding side. And that's one thing I do, do like about her. My last question. You can hear the music, the game, that game number two. It could either be Streetsboro. It could either be that number one seed, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Both teams you faced already before. You know, I know you'll be ready. I'm not going to ask you that. I know you stand and watching the game. But what's just one thing that you took away from this game against Gilmore that you're going to apply to Friday to get that one win to get down to Dayton? Got to be able to take the pressure. Got to be able to pass through the pressure and see through the pressure. I just felt like at certain points in times, we, we didn't move the ball as fast as we should have. And when we did move the ball the way we needed to, we were getting wide open layups or uncontested threes. So just continuing to play the team game, continuing to play our game, um, and not letting other people put us in the situations that we don't want to be in or shouldn't be in. Coach T, man, let's get it done Friday, man. I'll be here, man. Good luck Friday, man. We'll be seeing you on this on, as we continue this road trip to Dayton. Appreciate you, my man. Thanks.